Welcome back to another episode of my 2K24 tournament. This will be the same format as the previous episode. We will have all round one matchups except for the last one. And I believe at this point, based on my calculations, the women have about one more chance to advance before elimination. The men I have not figured out yet. So this is where we stand. And let's begin. Eight superstars in the ring to start this match, but there will be only one winner from every angle and every superstar for themselves. It's going to be crazy to watch and do commentary for. Connecting on the DDT. Side headlock applied. Oh, man. What a good Watch. measure. He catches Jimmy with a counter. Oh, what's coming here? Submission will be a didn't even get to one. He didn't even let the ref start the count. Nakamura laying down the gauntlet for their opponent. Oh, here it comes. And there's the cover. And AJ is out with the elimination. This could do it. How on earth could he not keep his going on? And this could be it. Big try is the good Shot there. Oh! Here we go. Nakamura setting up King Shinsuke. What are they going to do here? How about a That's exactly what they're thinking. This is after every trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful skip. Drew Gulak. And a suplex. And Butch is pushing through the pain to deliver some to the opposition. I don't think Butch has any intentions of letting this match drag on much longer. A well-timed dodge. German suplex. Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Toss back into the ring. Oh, my God. He thinks he has it. No, he gets the shoulder. And now Jimmy Uso. And well-timed maneuver there. Jimmy might have just finished things. And he slides him back to the mat. Out 
outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Oh, kick connects. Shinsuke Nakamura with it. Inverted power slam. Wow. Time. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Oh, my goodness. He turns it around. And he gets set back into the ring. Short punch. That did not look good, and Shinsuke has started to bleed. Man. Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. A ripping and tearing at the face. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He climbs into the ring. Whoa! Turn that kendo stick into a lawn dart. Top rope. Jimmy with a game ender. Two. Jimmy Uso did it. What a huge win. Here is your winner. Jimmy Uso is the winner. Butch, Drew and Shinsuke no also advanced the round two. rest of their competition in this match. Yeah, with an elimination match, your number can be up at any moment. But they've managed to outmaneuver all the other competitors here tonight. Zelina might be little, but she is fierce. The following contest is a fatal four-way Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring, representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega. Zelina, one of the smallest competitors with the biggest heart. Yeah, now Zelina is sitting under the learning tree of Rey Mysterio and the rest of the LWO. Zelina really has a chance to break out even further. Zelina looking to make the LWO and her family proud tonight. First, from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina's come so close so many times to title glory in WWE for over a decade. Finally, Tamina would experience that crowning achievement, becoming one half of the women's tag team champions alongside a fellow veteran, Natalya. Meechin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. And representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meechin! Meechin looking to throw down like the baddie she is. Yeah, Meechin has competed all over the world. You simply cannot discount her success thus far. Meechin ready to prove she belongs at the top of this division. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Here comes the Pride Fighter. And 
from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonia Tabin. Well, if you look up power hungry in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure you'll see Sonia Deville's picture. All you need to know, Byron, is Sonia is here to take what she deserves and take it forcefully. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call... In elimination matches, a pretty unique match type where every fall changes the complexion of the match. Getting this matchup underway, we have Zelina Vega, Tamina Michin, and Sonya Deville. This type of match has the ability to get completely... Uh, makes the cover! Strong kick out there. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Rapid look out! Endless kicks to the cup, and that definitely made solid impact. The powerbomb is not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done! Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of them. Tamina with a headlock and then the elbow drop. Tamina's in crisis mode. Makes the cover. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh my gosh, what impact. Oh! She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. But this deep. So we need to go right through the triangle armbar. A little bit of triangle armbar submission. Think about all the pain she's in. Zelina is in big, big trouble. Up goes Sonya. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. Up high. Whoa, cross body. She's surely revving up, but she better. Kick to the midsection. Sunset quick. Now, into a power bomb. Did Zelina just finish this? Sonia is out of here. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. Counters with an attack on Zelina. Boom. She's going for it. This could be. She kicks out the force. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Ah, oh, took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table out there. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Oh, God, face first. Oh, trapping the arm. Oh. Meechin's ready for something big. She wants it one more time. Eat defeat. Does that put Meechin out on top? Meechin wins the match. Zelina, Here is your winner, her and Zelina advanced to round two. Overcoming all those superstars to have their arm finally raised up high.
Against all of the odds, it's honestly a miracle. I'm not so sure about a miracle, but definitely a big win here in this elimination match. Here we go with eight superstars all desperate to prove themselves. This is utter madness. With seven targets on your back at any given time, there's no sanctuary to be found in this match. Uh-oh, tandem offense. Nice. Cover. Slips the shoulder up. Seems a little too early in this match to go for the pin. Corey, what can a superstar do if they find themselves playing defense in this match? You gotta find a way to... He kicks out with authority. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. Stax just goading his opponent. Bam! Down he goes. He can do it here. And a shoulder in the air. He's still in this. Does that finish Lewis? Such an extraordinary match tonight. He manages to escape it. And here they got the three count right here. This is it. And the ref can't even start the count. What's it going to take to put this match away? How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. This place is going insane. The ground beneath my feet is shaking. He is just reeling from that offense. Letting this match go a little bit longer than it's struggling. This man tonight. There it is. He couldn't show up in this matchup. And Stacks Knight is over. Smooth transition. Oh, just tap out. Boot to the face will free him. Took him out the knee. Does he have him here? He stops the count. And out of Cedric. Heading back to the ring. Impact. And that was an expertly executed DDT. Sent up for the side rushing leg sweep. And Jensen is clearly looking for a fight here. And that'll leave our truth. 
truth on a cause for concern. Truth has to gather himself, has to regain some composure now. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. See, here's a cover. Could be it. He breaks the pin before a one count. You got a question. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Oh, God, knee meets face. And Jensen dodges that one. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Close lines. Good Lord. So effective. This is it. Got it. And he became eliminated. eliminated. Tagged with a punch. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Here's the cover for the win. He breaks the ref's count after one. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed anybody doubting the courage of Baron Corbin after witnessing what we just saw. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Ah, oh, face first off the post. Oh my goodness, oh. dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And now gets tossed into the ring. He's taking this to the floor now. And Corbin with a counter. superstar in this match. Yeah, outlasting every other superstar doing exactly what they had to do in the process. And doing so when they had to do it. Timing is just so important in a match. The thing about a Falls Count Anywhere match is you can get thrown against the stairs or a barricade, but you usually have a chance to recover. Usually, but not always, Cole. If your opponent keeps attacking, there is nowhere in the arena that's safe. Speaking of which, we're not exactly out of harm's way either. I can't count. And here's an early cover. Kick out before a two. That'll do more to get the fall. Uh, ooh, twist in the arm. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Mox looking his opponent up. Despite his best day, Milk is eliminated. He's getting 
pushed out into the defensive. But you have to admit at this point, that's one of my all-time favorites, the Octopus Stretch. An extreme amount of pressure in this submission hold. Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. Ouch. Oh, blow to the bread basket. Delivered back into the ring. Sit down, pile driver. That should do it right there. And referee cuts off the count in one. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of it. Set up. Right to the leg. He may get the three count right here. This is it. He breaks the ref's count before two. He's still got life in this matchup. Good night. Mankind is firing up. Executing his game plan. Just cranking the head. Oh, God, that hurt. And he's taking this to the outside now. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Mankind was ready for that. Big back body drop. 
just rake in the face. Face rake. This is nasty. <laughs> Steamboat isn't looking good as he stirs back up. Oh, no. Don't do this. No, no, no. Mr. Soccer and the man of the I have no idea how he hasn't tapped. And they're eliminated. And there's your winner. surviving and ultimately thriving in a match like this. Elimination matches are absolutely a cruel mistress, but they certainly found a way to overcome such a challenge. Elimination rules in effect. Gain a fall on your opposition to shrink the field down until you're the last one standing. In this one, we see Maxine Dupree, Valhalla, Nikki Cross, and Sensational Sherry. This match is such an incredible obstacle for all these competitors, knowing that there is no sanctuary anywhere in this arena. And that's not just the arena, Saxon. It's going to end in the parking lot, on the street, in your mom's basement, next to your race car bed. Any location is viable. Big right hand. Over the top rope. Oh, this is vicious. From the middle rope. Uh -oh. Lock applied, has the leg right swinging. Fisherman neck breaker. That has Sherry Ross. Makes a cover. And sensational it's Sherry is now gone from this match. match. Eliminated. Flexing their technical acumen. Oh man, drop kick. Shoulders down. Kick out just before two. She just will not give up, Cole. I oh, able to counter. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The top row. Whiplash neck breaker. Solid contact across the chest. Boom, what impact. Oof, a direct headshot. Just sickening. And Nikki is getting the crowd going. Cross has that intense look in her eyes. Nikki Cross, this is not going to be good for her opponent some force on that move. Cross was right on target. Shoulders down. And they get the win. What a fatal four-way. Here is your winner, Nikki Cross. After a memorable fatal four-way, here is our winner. Yet another volatile and unpredictable match in the books. I think any of those four superstars could have taken it. One of the greatest brawlers in history. Here comes Terry Funk.
The foe is in elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 247 pounds, Terry Funk. Terry Funk possesses a list of accolades a mile long. Let's talk about a former WWE Tag Team Champion, a multiple-time WCW United States Champion, and a multiple-time ECW Champion. Yeah, and don't forget, Corey, countless other titles all the way from Texas to Japan. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. The greatest of all time is here. The Honky Tonk Man is uh, in the building. Yeah, that, that's self-proclaimed. Greatest and of all time. From Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 247 pounds, the Honky Tonk Man. This is a showman in a class by himself. But you can always count on Honky to take shortcuts, take the low road. Well, it has worked out for him. One of the longest reigning intercontinental champions in history. My sources tell me that after tonight's victory, we're going to be treated to a VIP concert. Honky Tonk Man, just the classics. Lucky us. Here he is, the one true superstar. The Hall of Famer, superstar Billy Graham. And from Paradise Valley, Arizona, weighing in at 275 pounds, superstar Billy Graham. Chiseled, sculpted by the Greek gods themselves. Billy Graham is obviously all about appearances. He loves to run his mouth, too. But let's not forget, he knows how to put his money where his mouth is, how to put those muscles to good use. We are in for one heck of a show tonight. Graham will make sure of it. I cannot wait to see the superstar compete. Time to feel the Grayson Waller effect. I'd rather not. And from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller. Waller loves to talk the talk, but can he really walk the walk? He certainly can. Just watch and learn. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> From Franklinville, New Jersey, weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. A man already well known for his mind games. You cannot discount the power and speed of Gacy either.
shifting gears now. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Well, here comes a true bully. And representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville. Weighing in at 326 pounds, Bubba Ray Dudley. A man with no concern for his own well-being or others will put his own body in danger to prove a point. Also a man who was raised on the tough streets of Dudleyville. Bubba Ray is not going to need Devon to get the tables tonight. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. The master of the Singapore cane has arrived. And from Philadelphia, weighing in at 240 pounds, the Sandman. Guys, let me tell you, Sandman suffers from something of a disturbing love of weapons, and he's never afraid to use them. No one embodies the essence, the spirit of ECW, quite like the Sandman. And the Sandman's about to show us his passion for hardcore brawls. Who's here? The People's Champion! The Brahma Bull looks ready to lay and this smack down. From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 275 pounds, The Rock! 
you can just feel the energy of the great one as he saunters down to the ring. Oh, he's the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, and he's taken WWE by storm. <clears throat> if you smell... Whoa, 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 whoa. This ain't sing along with The Rock, Saxton. I thought it was. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. In an eight-pack challenge, the rules are simple. Eight superstars in the ring together, but everyone for themselves. First fall to a finish via pinfall or submission wins it all. The potential for chaos is, to put it lightly, very high. right into the bread basket. And that was an effective attack, guys. There was some power behind that punch. Dangerous constantly. Gonna spike him. Shoulders down. He just couldn't have an average of one. How about they hit the most electrified moves in all the sports entertainment? The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. What's he planning to do here? Yeah. Oh, and he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. Terry Funk sweeps the leg. Big turbo. Funk trying to get out of the tail. He's incomplete. What more can this superstar do? Look at that. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael.
whip back into the ring. Oh, man. Oh. Face first into the chair. Here we go. Three count right here. This is it. There's the elimination. Yeah, Superstar the Billy Graham hits the road. Kick to the gut by Funk. Oh, the vintage Hangman's neckbreaker. And Terry is all business now. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. He'll head to the ring. Keeping him in position. Here it comes. Big oh. splash in the corner. And he sends him into the corner. But me. Oh, take down and a spinning toe hole. Fuck trying to get him attacked. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he wins with a devastating submission. Joe Gacy was just discarded from this matchup. In full control here. Face for a turnbuckle. Oh, man. Oh, uncorked a big punch. We got a cut. And with the end of that match, this will be the end of the show, video, and stream. I want to thank anyone who may have made it to this point in either of them. And if you did watch the video, you can find the link to my stream in the description below. But for now, that is it for now. And until next time. Where next time, we will have our first elimination matches on the women's side.